Jones. Okay, so Call of the Sea. It is... Um, there we go. It is 1934 in the, in the far reaches of the South Pacific. Nora has crossed the ocean following the trail of her missing husband's expedition, finds herself on a lush island paradise, a nameless forgotten place dotted with the remnants of a lost civilization. Published by Raw Fury, developed by Out of the Blue, released uh, yesterday. Action Adventure. It's on Game Pass if you got it. Which, if you don't have Game Pass and you're a gamer, man, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. But. Here we go. Please wait. Oh, yes, Ezekiel the Third. Let's play, because they don't allow underscores and Xbox gamer tags. <laughs> yeah, fine, sure. Honestly, I'm pissed at how often I forget to check the Game Pass for Windows and find games I've already bought. No, Booze for Domus, I am fucking with you on that. That's why it's so nice to be a streamer and have people like remind me like, hey, this is on Game Pass. You don't have to pay the 30 bucks for it or whatever. I'm... Oh, there we go. All right. Before we start the game, I want to check the size of the other games. Well, I started downloading Haven but I'm not sure how big the other games are. We'll fuck that bridge when we come to it. This one is different though. I can, I can download this game ahead of, or Game Pass games ahead of time because it doesn't cost me any extra money. So I've got the two Game Pass optional games, but if the other ones are huge gigabytes, it doesn't matter because if they don't get voted for, then I, then I don't have to buy them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Options. Graphics. Epic. Full screen. On. Okay. Camera angle. Whatever. Brightness. Sure. Motion blur. Off! Apply. Game. Subtitles. English. On. Crosshair. On. Detection. On. Hearing impaired subtitles. No. That's... That'll make subtitles for everything, right? Like, knock on door. Trolls. Ooh, controller vibration. Ooh, if it has vibration. I mean, it is a point and click, but who knows? All right. New game. Start a new game. Here we go. Oh, it's not a point and click? I thought it was. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what it is. No. Okay, no worries, Johnny Scar. Must kill Oprah. What Must kill what are those Oprah. Voices? Must kill Oh, What the fuck was that? Oh, so it's first person. Okay. Well, if it's first person, then we'll do keyboard mouse. Oh, is this how I breathe? Bubbles for breathing. Glub, glub, glub. Oh, too many bubbles. Oh, too many bubbles. 
Oh man, I just drank that thing's farts. Where am I? Also, am I in a dream? Or is this just like, is the water like amniotic fluid or something like it where I can breathe liquid? I know this place. Oh, yeah. I've been here before. Yeah, we're, we're having an Alice in Wonderland type of sitch. I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. Ah, it's a birth metaphor. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. Well, I mean, technically you're not climbing. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, looks pretty good. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. All right. It is November, November 1934. Ah, uh, it's... So if yesterday was Mayor the 7th, Today is Jew 8th. <laughs> Jew the 8th of November. <laughs> Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. I have to know. I have to know. Nineteen thirty four. Yep, looks good. Started on a Jew day, ended on a uh Friday. <laughs> All right, looks good. A Jew day, Jew. See, Jew. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Yes, can't you see it right there? Dim, Lun, Mar, Mer, Jew, Ven, Sam. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you might find. 
Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. You get what you need. Oh, oh hey guys, what you doing, pups? What are you doing, hanging out with me? Oh, did Mama have to go somewhere? What you doing? Yes, give me kisses. Oh, give me kisses. Oh, look at you. No, you gotta, you gotta go this way. Look, look to the audience. Look, here they are. There they are. Here they are. Here you are. Oh, my pretty baby. <laughs> Maybe mom just got done. Uh, I don't have my pup, my pupper cam anymore. I, I gave it to, uh, I gave it to Katie. Yeah, I have another one though. Oh, I do. I'm not sure if this will work though. It might. As long as we're not plugged into the same USB. Hub-a-dub. Noticed it at least. <laughs> Got that camera hanging off my my uh, garbage can. There we go. Yeah, that should be, that'll be a good shot when they come around. Right there. Get the pupper cam. There. Aim it down a little bit. That's where they'll be. If they come around, there's a little water dish right there. A little blanket for them to lay on. Now I haven't set up any of the any of the the video or anything. I haven't like set up the, the gain or white balance or anything, so. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Good. I'm gonna grab my gloves. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Yeah, but don't do anything about your wrists. That's not important. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Nora Everett, I got a package delivered. Read it. Oh. <laughs> I thought it said pee-pee. Pee-pee Tahiti, <laughs> but it's Papit. I received a mysterious package at my oh. house. Okay. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. Aha! I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. Oh, it must be like, I get it. It's like ship-based Monopoly. Like the SS Monterey is like St. James Place. Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. 
Well, where is my hat, goddammit? What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Hey, they say dress for the for the man you want to fuck. Right? Not the man you are fucking. The man you want to fuck. Oh, I love this song. Alright, out we go. I've still got to pack up a few more things. Oh, I do. Never mind. Is that not something to pack up? Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. I wrote it down in my diary so I wouldn't have to remember. 506. Uh Oh, with the arrow keys? Is there not a way to do it with the click the Oh, there might be, but there's Okay, I can just click the log. There we go. Okay. Buckle up. We got some backstory. Ready for the backstory? Here we go. And no ba no background music for this. You will pay attention to this and this only. All right. <clears throat> July 6th, 1934. It's been a month since I received Harry's last letter. It was postmarked San Francisco and mentioned that the answer to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping his silence is only due to a delay in postal service. July 14th, 1934. Last night I had another of my vivid dreams, but this time something was different. I saw a strange island looming in the distance. In the heart of the island, a huge stone obelisk rose. Up before a mist-shrouded mountain, I woke up in a drenched in sweat. September 16, 1934. I, ke I keep waking up to odd dreams in the middle of the night. Still no news from Harry, and it's been three months already. Damn this disease of mine. My husband is missing, and I can barely walk from, from a couple of minutes without getting exhausted. October 10, 1934. An enigmatic sentence written on a photo of my husband. An ancient stone relic that looks like a knife. A brass key with the letter CW engraved on it. All three were in a package I received yesterday. Postmarked to Haiti. No sender. Find him, 74 nautical miles east of Otaheite. After leafing through a couple of history and geography books, I found that Otaheite was just the ancient name for Tahiti. The same place the package came from. Oh, what does this all mean? Anyway, my mind is made up. Even though I still feel woozy, I have to give it everything I've got. It won't be easy, but I'll find my husband whatever it takes, even if it means going to the end of the world. October 14th, 1934. Following Henry's trail, I caught a train to San Francisco. In the Madison building, I found out that on May 25th, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti in the S uh, on the SS Carmel. Tahiti again. On a side note, I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the sea breeze, but I feel much better. October 19th, 1934. First, I'll sail to Tahiti on an ocean liner. If I don't find Harry there, I'll have to find a ship that will take me to whatever is 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. This isn't going to be easy, or cheap either. October 23rd, 1934. I missed the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver. Denver? Hey! I know that place. I love to sit on the deck and watch the moonlight playing on the water. It's so comforting. November 1st, 1934. I finally arrived in Tahiti. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be a tough, a tough row to hoe. I think I must have walked all, uh, all over Papit asking about them, but nobody seems to know anything. About that place 74 miles east of Tahiti, some locals have mentioned an island, but they won't say anything else about it. It's like they think the place is cursed. I met an English sailor, Captain Hodgson. 
He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a, a whaler. Apparently, the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. According to Hodgson, it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island, he said. November 4th, 1934. After three days of begging, I've managed to convince Captain Hodgson to take me close to the island. Save your money, Miss Everhart. Leaving me alone will be payment enough. I think there's a sweet, tender heart inside that grumpy old sailor. <laughs> grumpy sailor? Zeke won't even use my real name when he calls. When I tell my name, tell him my name isn't the Purple King, he just calls me Numbnuts and demands to know where I hide the PS5s. <laughs> hey, Purple King! Thank you for 18 months. Yeah, more games! More needed reprieve from retail work! Multiple calls about PS5s every single day. Oh, I see. There's the joke. Uh, small gameplay tip. You can access the journal anytime, even when you're in the puzzles. You don't even have to get out of it. Oh, so I can go here and go like that. Okay. Right, now it's open. Bloopy doop. This strange and <laughs> I'm sorry. What you were saying? I apologize. What was that? Can I look in my inventory? Okay. Inventory? Nope. Okay. Whoops. Harry Everhart. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. Um, damn it, no! Rotate. There we go. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. FK in the copy. Instructions. CW on the key. Oh, okay. <gasps> I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. So look for the butthole in the sky. Are we good now? May You're I go? All set, madam. The motor boat is ready. Now listen here, you grumpy old captain. If I open this door, are you going to put place your mouth in between my breasts and do that spitty thing you do? Or is there an actual motorboat waiting? I can't hear you. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat and be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. The fuck that what? No, I got we'll an achievement. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband. There. I got an achievement, but it appeared I on my too. streaming PC. I'll see you in three days, then. And not on my Please gaming be careful on that PC. Island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Weird. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Yeah, it appeared over chat on my uh, streaming PC. Well, here I am. In the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Oh. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. 
And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. They call it La Isla Bonita. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. Butters, thank you so much. Oh, also, Crunk Spleen, if you're still here. I don't know A if you're still here, Crunk Spleen. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? The love boat. <laughs> There's definitely something strange about this place. <laughs> Why? I can't even hear my own thoughts! The waterfall's too loud! Okay, Harry. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. So I went all by myself. With, like, one suitcase. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. That is a very, that's very poor planning. I mean, tides come in and go out. Let's take the suitcase at least on, can we, how about we pull the boat on the way up and tie the boat to something? Can we do that? A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. Nah, it'll be fine. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. Well, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. Well, that's a vivo, oh. a flute that the Polynesians play with their Okay. And yes, it seems like this the dialogue is skippable, which is nice. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. Um Someone's having a quinceañera. Her name is Lyra. Um she wants mots. Oh, that's like fruit snacks. That's a brand of fruit snacks. So she's gonna have some fruit snacks. Um, we're gonna give her a makeover with Avon. It's good. There's gonna be a lot of profanity there because they're high schoolers. They're 16 years old. Um, Trover. Oh, Trover's gonna make a cameo from Trover Saves the Universe. Uh, we know that means death. So that's death. Um, Nally's. Oh, Nelly's like chili or pill or what else does Nelly make? Plus, oh, plus some loin. So we're gonna have chili con carne, basically is what they're saying. Okay, okay. A note written in French. I only understand two words: ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. Does anyone know? Can anyone like translate that for me, please? This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. Whoever reads these words, we have we have profaned this island and found only death. Don't go any further. Okay. Cool. Ku. I would have looked that up if I was playing on my own, so. Whatevs. I feel quite good. 
I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. That's a neat way to introduce that mechanic. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a <coughs> note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Aha! The water! Upside down J's! Now, I want this seashell by the seashore. Can I have it? Oh, I can! I know it's just resonance, but oh. I do love listening to the sea in them. Oh. I picked up the seashell by the seashore, but I can't sell it to anybody. Looks like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Mm hmm It says, um, the Space Invaders high score is, uh, oh, it looks like the high score is held by the same person, like the top eight spaces. Make look, he looks like he's got some t like little teeth. All right, it's saying that uh, there's eight people in the on the mountain, and there's one left with the squiggle. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Ah, big sea monster came in between these guys playing badminton. And, uh... And... Oh, oh it's Frogger! Th that one's Galaga. Or no, that one's Space Invaders. This one's Frogger. So you gotta jump on these guys to get across. Okay. And that's... Oh, that's two. Two guys left. Oh, wait, what's in the what's in the bowl here? Oh, just just leaf, leaves, leaves of grass. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. Oh man, let's get. Should we get laid? What a lovely flower offering. Oh, I guess we're not gonna get laid. Ethereal Spear, thank you for seven months. And unlike my mom was, I'm excited by this benchmark and have zero regrets. <laughs> and then Element 47 with 54 months, I love flatulence. Me too. Me too. Oh, this one's Pitfall. I remember this game. It's Pitfall. You don't want to. You want to make sure not to. You, you jump on the rope and you. Yeah. Get over the other side. And this one is. Uh, Gradius, Life Force. Final Fantasy. There you go. It's Final Fantasy. Yep. I see it. These are all the enemies, and that's you. This one is, oh, this one's Tubin. Remember Tubin? A 
River Raid. There you go. And then Sid, Sid Meier's Pirates. Give me a knife. A carving tool. A carving tool. Can I... I guess I'm not going to keep it. Knives are not useful in the wilderness. You're fucking stupid. I didn't take the machete. I'm certainly not going to take that. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. Ah. Put the crank in the turny thing by the flower petals. I just gotta find this that. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. I just gotta find the crank and then I can put it by the flowers. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. It certainly did. Oh. Well, look what's hidden here. Hey. Industrial strength butt plug. This is saying, you have two choices, death or death by snoo snoo. Oh, well, whatever they chose, I hope it was quick. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Wow, what a terribly English sounding uh, town name. Newburyport. They should add sure to the end. Newburyportshire. Actually, it's the second iteration of the town. It's new Newburyportshire. Is that... Harry? Harry, you were here. You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Six people, fragile instruments, several box equipment, weapons, and explosive supplies for three weeks. Ah, my journal. Here we are. Nope. Man, I write everything down, don't I? I arrived on the mysterious island, 74 miles east of Tahiti. The fishermen will be back to pick me up again in three days. I hope that's enough time to find you, dear old pal. Well, that's strange. Polynesians don't use doors, much less mechanisms to protect a door. If I want to reach the inner island, I've got to open it. Nora, dear, this is no ordinary island. I needed the key I received on the mysterious package to enter the island. What does this mean? Harry was on this island, and I hope he's still here. I found a photo with all the expedition members, and I think I vaguely recognize some of them from the letters he sent me. But where did they go? Did they set up camp somewhere? That guy's, that guy's not the bad guy. You might think he's the bad guy by the way he looks, but he's not. He's not the bad guy, I promise. Also, oh, I see. So if there's blank spaces like this, they will be added in by other stuff later, I'm guessing. Okay.
We're assuming there's a bad guy? There's always a bad guy! A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. Ah, uh, but children in burlap bags hung upside down. Now that's Polynesian for sure. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. I found the missing piece to open the door. I opened an uh, entrance to a mangrove swamp in the inner, in the inner island. I'm cut off from the heart of the island by a strange mechanical bridge over a river. Someone went to a lot of trouble to keep people away from this place. Yeah, see, there was a picture missing. And now it's there. Well, at least they were civilized. They were having tea. Oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. You know, as long as I don't have to aim... I don't mind doing this with a controller. It is strange that the right stick is the is the sprint button. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Mm-hmm. That one's for arrows. So it's... Mountain sun thing. Arrows. Oh, it even says one, two, three, four. So this is the fourth symbol. That is what, the second symbol? Or the, oh, there's five symbols then. So this is the third symbol. That's the fifth. A bone fish hook. One, two, three, four, fib! <laughs> and I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Oh. Oh, the graphics just got... Oh. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's turn the V-Sync back on and see if that helps. Uh, well, sort of helped a little bit. It's now it's really tearing, though. Oh, did I not apply it? Oh, I didn't apply the settings. Dummy. All right, now try it. Ah, that's better. All right, so this is the first one then, I think. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Looked okay on stream? Yeah, it didn't look okay for me though. And the capture card is has slightly different settings than my monitor. So I wanted it to look good for me. 
The sun will come out tomorrow. That's your bottom dollar? I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. I've gone and completed a loopsy doodle. Do you mean a circle? Yes, that's what I said. A loopsy doodle. Isn't that what you call it? Here in the US of A? No, we call it a circle. Oh well, whatever. Oh my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, Birds of Paradise? Lorikeets. Cole's Lorikeets. Oh, good God. Look at all the symbols now. Oh, there there are Lorikeet feathers scattered around this unu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. All right. I'm going to go back to... Uh, Keyboard and mouse. It just feels better. Is that from a movie? I don't know, probably. So how many we got? We got... Oh, did we not take a picture of that one? We didn't take a picture of the of the actual puzzle thing. Great. Well, what the seriously? I'm guessing perspective puzzle, maybe. There's the, the other door. Open up the shortcut. The shortcut. That's convenient. Is. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. And that in and of itself was a lie. Which is kind of ironic when you think about it. So I didn't bother writing down the num- Oh, hey! Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, look. Look, buddy. Oh, look at buddies! There they are. Oh, dear, my guy. Here they are. Yes! Those are my good puppies! Yes, my good puppies. Sir, come over here so I can see you. Yes. That probably isn't the best place. There. How about that? There we go. Oh, look over here, buddy. Look over here. Home. Oh, oh, Home. Big kisses. You have good kisses. What? Good boy. Boy. What you gonna do? You gonna lay down? What? You just wanna oh you just wanna get up and get up in my on my lappy business? Oh yeah. 
I want to get up in my nappy business. Cause they do. Alright, lay down. Go lay down. Go on. She has human eyes. The brown one. She has human eyes, dude. It's, it's creepy. This one has dog eyes. That other one has human eyes. Go on, you buddy. Shit. If you look at his face, that's, that's why we make him talk like that. He's a good boy. And he, he talk, tells me a story about sister. When we, when we, when you're not around, sister, sister poops on everything. That's what, that's what she does. I, I'm a good boy. Sister, she what? I try to hump sister. Uh, 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 <laughs> see. <laughs> All right. Whoops. All right, get out of here. Get out. Come on. Get out of here. Lay down. There you go. Good job. Good job. You can sit right there. Okay. Dokie. Did, did, did Katie tell anybody where she was going? <laughs> she didn't leave me a message or anything. All right, so that's three. Uh, yep, three. Then the arrow symbol, fish, fish five. Fish is five. And then sunshine is one. So one for sun. How many do I have? Okay. One for sun, mountain is three, fish, fish is five. So we got one, three, five. Oh. Damn it. Ah, too much. There we go, one for sun. Fish, where are you at, fish? Damn it, wrong way, wrong way. Okay, there's fish, and then three for the mountain, and then I'm gonna guess that one. That, wait, jays and birds. Okay, there, that. Nope, other way around. Oh, damn it, no, no, no. There we go. Nope. Wait, why is the, why the fish, oh my God, the fish got changed. There. We got sun, mountains, fish. Now, there we go. Well, I guess I hit the jackpot. There we go. That's my ticket across the river. <laughs> jackpot. <laughs> That's my ticket. Steady now. Oh, there, there was probably the, the story one, right? That told me the whole story. I'm guessing. I figured out the symbols that were needed over the, the sun, birds, the mountain, the fish, the sea, and the fish. 
the rocks and the trees, and the birds in the sky. Yep, sun, birds, mountain, ocean, blah, blah, blah. I wonder if this is going to get any more difficult or it's going to be like baby games all the way through. I don't mind it if it's baby games. It's a beautiful game. But I wonder if it gets more difficult. Why are you appearing? On my streaming PC! <laughs> How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. The Everhart Expedition. Wow, what is this place? Wow! Guys! I'd better have a look around this abandoned village. Hell's crew look. might have stayed here. I wonder if Bruce Dickinson is here. The Everhard Expedition. They set up camp here. they mean by camera angle hold on is that field of view oh it means like this field of view oh okay fascinating Ancient geometric stone structures. Oh, I guess. Not Polynesian. Fascinating. Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. No, 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 no. You don't want to go that way. You want to go that way. You go that way, it's going to take you around in a loop-de-doodle, and you're going to come back here anyway. Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? It's a warning. It's warning us about the ruins. It says that some sort of forbidden ritual took place here. Okay. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. All right, Killing Heart, good night. Yeah. Oh shit, Keel Sad. So musical. I made a rookie. Hold on, before I forget, Keel Sad. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I'm such a dick. I totally glossed over it. Sanguine Visions, Drax One, Spastic Eighty Seven, Braxis, and Lady Simone. Simone. Simony. I don't know how to say that. Welcome to the light and love of Tagarilla. May he bless you with many tacos full of your favorite feelings. I did it from my fishing boat to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. I went suddenly. My ba, my canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a sea creature I never seen. Anyway. I was lucky enough to reach that white sand beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island then? I need to know what happened to me, to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Big Green Dennis, thank you for gifting a sub to 88 Architects. Welcome. And may you have a bummerless day, 88 Architects. Welcome. Uh, and you gifted, Keel said you gifted for the puppers. I should have those goddamn fucking demons on here more often then, huh? Let me get some gift subs, dude. <laughs> That's a big turtle, and it's a red turtle. Oh my god. I know this is where this is where they created Mario Kart. And they were experimenting with homing shell technology. No! Oh god, if I find a blue shell, I'm turning this fucking game off. So now you believe in magic, old pal? He gave me one of these amulets. Oh, one of these amulets to each of us. Only Harry kept his. Okay. Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. He looks like... Oh. He looks like he just got told that he can't have internet for a week. You stupid... I need internet for school, mom! Stupid! God, I'm never gonna do nothing! Well, what well? The guy doesn't want to be near the ruins. Why is he so afraid of that well? these tiki's be some sort of guardians uh, I don't know uh, oh that's the other one oh did you ask the other one They're composed of four pieces. I've never cared much for games of chance. Oh, these are, uh, um, are these backgammon dice? This fella sounds pretty hot headed. Um, July 14th, I came to this godforsaken island just a few days, for just a few days, and it's been almost two weeks already of doing nothing. Is this rich jerk going to open that hatch anytime soon? I'm not going to wait for Miss, Mr. Know-It-All all over again, just like I did with the elevator. He better let me handle this situation. We brought dynamite for a reason. Ancient hatch, Blowing explosives ancient here. ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. 9.5 foot safe distance. They brought an American. That's a that's always a bad choice, Ooh. man. Looks like someone didn't like you very much, Harry. Blah blah blah. I'm so clever. Yep, definitely an American. Hmm. I wonder what went here. I guess I'll never know. I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. Oh, a gun! Oh, it's a gun. Oh, right. Ooh, fresh peas. Not like after a spot of tea. Fresh peas from a tin. Who worries this much about their appearance in a place like this? 
Uh, Ulysses Everett McGill from uh, Oh Brother Where Art Thou? My hair. My hair. I don't want brilliantine, goddammit. I'm a dapper dead man. Nice comb. Now, what could have gone here? Some sort of... I don't know. It's a paddle or a key device? They were packing a lot of heat when they came to this island. But they took all the guns with them. Oh, it's another gun. Very neat. Whoa, whoa, Dale. Whoa! Won't you spare me over to another year? Well, what is this? I can't see. Sorry. I better not do that. Got some DMCA coming to me. Obi-Wan, thank you for 18 months. Thanks, Zeke. Simple but heartfelt. Oh, thank you, Obi-Wan, for the 18 months. <laughs> Looks like this fellow was a real heartbreaker. That's a fella? Oh, she fell in love with the dude from uh, the, the guy who had the Lucky Strike account for Mad Men. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. To Roy, the best stuntman in Hollywood. Oh, Roy. Okay. So that's the American. His real name was Costas? Costas Apost Apostolou. What is that? Is that Greek? That is Greek. It's all Greek to me. Can I not open his journal or anything? That seems like the most valuable piece of information right here is this fucking journal. But I guess we don't get to open that. Okay. They all have symbols over top too. It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. I'm a lady. I don't go snooping around in other people's journals. Even if it might save their lives. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that mm, an octopus? Something's missing inside that emblem. Ah! Too many voices in my head talking at the same time! A tiki. Like something straight out of an adventure novel. Alright. So we got lots of drawings here. Got some tiki's. Okay. Good old Casas Apostolou. Biggest swinging dick in town. Oh, let's go. Let's go over to the blue place. Let's go to the, the blue room. Oh no! Oh no! You did you know you can't go over this way! Oh it's death over this way! Oh no! Why is this hammock so far from the rest of the campsite? Sleep farter. An amulet with a carved Marquesian cross. The symbol represents balance and protection. Look at this little fellow.
The river cuts through that canyon. It doesn't look safe to cross. Hmm. If only I had a boat. Oh, what'd you find over there? Oh no! Oh, did you find something? You better leave. Oh, you're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Oh, hey, there's a ladder. That ladder is pretty shaky. Oh, I, oh. Unless I can look around more, it seems like that's something that could have been done automatically. Just climb down the rest of the ladder. I can't cross until the drawbridge is lowered. What are you? Oh, some beautiful form of... Ow! Oh, it bit me. Oh, I wonder if... I wonder if the thing is venomous or poisonous. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it bit me too. Oh, goodness. Maybe I'll slurk it first. I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Really? You left this undone? You got any more brain busters? I wonder if I even have to flip them. Somehow I doubt it. Family symbols, they seem to represent sea creatures. The order of the symbols is important. What is the connection with each tiki? Thought I heard something. It's being ripped out of something else. You think? Maybe that giant square that was missing one of front of in front of the other hut maybe the parts of the tiki on this column seem movable ah so there's green in some of these too Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Seriously? Nice line, uh -huh. dude. Just like your father. Giddy as a schoolboy. My father was never giddy. Even when he was a schoolboy. That Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. 
That Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. Mr. Everhart, I still don't understand what happened. Roy then. knew just as well as you know, Black Ooze was highly volatile. I should never have believed him when he said he had your permission. I feel responsible for what happened. Wait. Meep, 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 meep. Okay. Well, considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. Um, I'll go closer. There you go. More drawings. Up! I love that. Up! Luna is a best princess for 70 goddamn months. You old timer, you old so and so, Luna. Object Interesting. here? Ancient mechanism? Up! You put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter. Maybe that's in the game. I'm accustomed to writing you, and it also, comforts me in this strange place. What is this? This island is riddled with secrets. Why is it blurry? So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Nora. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man There's was arrogant, supposed to be some sort of image there. I'm guessing. A little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he, he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody we may have made that. some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say. I wonder what that was supposed Harry to be. Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. Oh, what happened to that? Oh, oh no! Did you not get an image there? Oh, better call the dev! Oh no! <laughs> God, I gotta stop. I gotta stop doing that. It's just, it's amusing to me and probably me alone. Other planes of existence. That's bats. That's, that's, uh, stop trying to make bats a thing. It's never going to be a thing. Oh my God. Look at her, look at her outfit. It's so bats. There's a knocking sound. It feels like it's it feels like it's the outside of the game, but it could very well be in the game. But it's not like a knock. That just then. It's like it's not no, it's not like a knock. It's like just like a something hitting the side of something. I don't know. Like a tap. Oh you heard it? Okay. Okay, so it must be in the game. There it is again. Like something wooden hitting something Black else that was wooden. In a telescope? FK in the coffee? The Harry of a heart I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. Where did you get this strange device, Harry?
Yep, don't know what that not is. Not really yet. sure how this thingamajig works or what to do with it. Right. Also, the fuck is powering it? Some sort of battery or something? Okay. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works or what to do with it. Something's missing here. Jeepers, a stranded ship. Jeepers? This explains why the campsite is nearly abandoned. Tell the others to pack up as fast as can. We have to get back to the Black Sand Breach. Or Black Sand Beach. Something's happened to the ship, but bring only what's indispensable. Yeah. That's nothing. Okay. Oh, it kept his weed in there. Oh, there's something. What mess did you get into, Harry? Just friendly reminder not to forget your journal in times of dumbness. No, I know, Dragon Watcher. I'm, I'm not gonna look at it yet. There's. I'm just gathering information for now. Mr. Ever, we deeply, we deeply regret your freedom to accept the funding of the expedition. We have always an excellent relationship with your family. We consider you good We wish best of luck in your journey. Here's sincerely, Starry Wisdom Society. Okay. When I find myself in times of dumbness, Mother Journal comes to me. Yep, the Lady Shannon, right, right, right. So, it seems as though I'm missing one. Missing a tiki picture. Harry hated asking his parents for money to fund this expedition. The Everhearts are a wealthy Boston family, quite old fashioned. They were never really pleased with his eldest marrying a middle class girl. That's why he wanted to get away from them as soon as he could just like his siblings did after him. Okay, so there's one over here. All right, so there's the Tiki one. Tiki one. Tiki two. Tiki three. Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. Well, I can't just pick stuff up and take it with me, which is so odd. I'm guessing, like, I only pick up the stuff I absolutely need to take. Maybe the Tiki's just comprised of all the shit that's missing. Oh, damn it. Oh. Someone on the expedition died. I fucking totally missed this area. Oh, goody. What a delicate piece of craftsmanship.
He seems confused, as if he was having a hard time writing this down. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the medical tent up on the flat outcrop. After motherfucker what happened, I'll, I'd be... I'd better find out more about the motherfucker well, Dr. DeWitt. Yep. After the explosion... Well, message from a friend. Oh, they're playing cards. Just to finish our game in the afterlife. Recipe, Pally. Full house, straight through, but kind. Two pair, one pair. Ace, blah, blah, blah. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. If he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. To Roy Granger. Did they use all the dynamite? Explosives. Looks dangerous. American dynamite. Cause I'm proud to be an American. Where we blow shit up for free. And I won't forget. Man, die blowing up shit I for been close me. To a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. We thought it was nothing at first. Alright. So there's the last tiki thingy. So I'm guessing I'm, I make it the one, like, all the symbols that are not there, I'd imagine. Hmm, something missing here. Duh, maybe. Up. Is that the up? Oh, mom must be back home. All right, so we got four eyes, angry eyes, meth eyes, and closed eyes. Okay, those ones. Are represented. Those guys are not. Oh yeah, they are. They're right there. That one's fine. Okay, so they're all here. There's only four to pick from. Okay. Well, let's try and make it look like the other ones then. So that's that. Big mouth, the teeth on the top. There we go. And then hands below, like that. Nope. There's must be a running theme then. Uh, let's see. Well, there's this, the house, the fish, the, the stingray, I'm guessing, manta ray, and the octopus. So that if we put the house on top and then... 
Well, if we can find this symbol in the eyeballs, maybe. I think it might be. Uh, I don't know. But then the manta ray, I don't fucking know. Turtlefish, manta ray, and octopus. Jeepers, a stranded ship. Jeepers. Considering how poorly Harry draws, this mm -hmm. isn't half bad. Well, I was wondering if the color had anything to do with it, like the green here and the green here and stuff, but there's two ones with green eyes, so I kind of like poops on that theory. So the turtle symbol is the little house, so we got the little house symbol right there. Oh, this symbol, like maybe it's the little the little triangle things. Maybe that's what that is. Oh, here's a little squirrely, swirly thing. I'm guessing that might be this. Like that. And that might be the octopus one because it has a little circly things with lines through it, maybe? Hmm. A secret compartment. I hate that. So, the turtle, right? And then the eyes with the crowns? Oh, it might have been just this this shape here. Like that shape, maybe? Because that looks kind of like that. And then... Oh, this is, this is kind of like... The mouth is kind of shaped like a manta ray, I guess? And then this one is like the octopus arms. That one was... That's, this is kind of a... These two middle ones are kind of a stretch. I mean, this one was obvious because of the house symbol, but this one, like, I'm guessing it's the this shape right here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Ceteris Paribus. Thank you for gifting a sub to Palo354. Now it's two months. Welcome back. Palo. Well, I'm I'm guessing there's a method to it, Spoog. I'm just saying that it doesn't seem like 
was I off way off track? Like with the turtle symbol, the octopus hands, like the shape of the manta ray and the sh kind of the shape of the fish. Cause that's, that's right there. Second one is this, or excuse me. Second one is this. Third one is here. Fourth one is here. No, I know that. That's what, exactly what I just fucking said. This right here, the house symbol. That's why I got that. This, I'm guessing it's the shape of the eye here. Or shark, whatever. Shark, not fish. Who gives a fuck? I'm guessing it's this, this, this shape that matches this shape right here. The manta ray, I'm guessing it's the, sh the a whole outline of the mouth that kind of matches the manta ray kind of shape. And then the octopus has, has tentacles, and that one, like, was... Like, that, the top and the bottom made sense. The middle two is kind of iffy. I know the huts have symbols over the entrances. That's what these fucking things are. Oops. Nope. You know why I know that? Because this little plate right here fits in the fucking plate that's down on those huts down there. Hold on. Let me fill in the last drawing so you know I... So you know that I know what you're saying. Because there is one plate that's missing. And it's the doctor hut that's set back. Right? That's where the last tiki thing is. Or maybe not. There is one plate that's missing. Like from the four plate drawing. Because there's one on top of that hut, one on top of that hut, one on top of that hut. You must be missing from that one. There should be one up there, yeah? Or up, up here. Because this is where the tiki's are. The tiki's match the huts that they correspond with. Maybe it's if I turn around. Oh, that's the that's the ticket. That's a secret. I get it now. That's a secret. So you look up here. You say that's the manta ray. So you use. Uh. No. Oh yeah, so you use the third the third symbol that matches. This one's the octopus, so you use the fourth symbol that matches. There we go. This one's the the turtle mm, one. Something's missing inside that emblem. So you use the turtle one first symbol. I get it now. Okay. Now I got it. Does it is it correspond it does they do correspond it with the images here so turtle top octopus fourth so on and so forth yeah. i get you So let's see what this shit is, and then we'll switch games. This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. What kind of stone is this? I've never seen any substance quite like it. Mm. It feels... Uh, disturbing. I will take it. It's the stickiest of the icky. 
the sweet, sweet resin, the ganja supreme of the Polynesian tribes. Sergeant Schultz. What up, Schultz? Thank you for the 30. Up. Up. Wait. I've got a square. This is a square. How? How is up! that possible? What fascinating technology. Up. Save game. There you go. Exit. Yes. Alrighty. Well, Call of the Sea looks beautiful. Great game, especially if you get it on Game Pass. It's on Game Pass right now if you want to download it and get all that shit. 